Hello and welcome to the Underpowered Podcast, a giving podcast where we've got all our backlog, revealing what is worth your time, money, and energy. My name is Shelby Stokes. We also have Philip Karen. Hello. And return to the Mac, Mr. Casey Cool. Hello. Hello. Got to get my theme song in there. You know, you walk up. You know, you got to walk out of the room and walk back into the room. Wait. Make it official. Got to do the slide. Um. I didn't know you choreographed a dance to this too. That's a that's that's you're you're committed. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Were you just it's, feeling it's like let's do some ninety jams? I'm gonna go go into the woods and grow up this hair before I get back on this podcast. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Yeah, no, I'm just going full Grizzly Adams. Dude, it's it does my... not look like you had a beard. It looks like you downed a whole bottle of Rogaine, and this is the aftermath. It's you know this is just a week, guys. Uh, you know I'm that hairy. <laughs> Uh, no, I it's I it's been testing. I've had state testing. I've had football. I've been super busy with my job. Um, I'm gonna cut it off though this weekend. It's time for it to go. This weekend's the weekend. Yeah, my wife asked me to do it for my anniversary. Oh, the, how romantic! And I was like, easy how sell. Romantic. Are you, <laughs> now, are you gonna give her a locket of your hair to really solidify the ten year? On does her bed. Go? Not gonna even say anything. Just tie it in a bow. Put it on her pillow. Just, Dude, a black bag. Fill, fill <laughs> instead of roses on the way to the bedroom, it's just locks of his hair on the way into the to the master suite. Uh, why do you guys think I have that much hair to do that? That's nice. Well, you have everything. to divvy it up a little bit. You can't spend all that hair in one spot. You know how much of it should be beard hair? <laughs> Uh, none of it. None, none of, of it. it. Only my locks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, the big talk right now is in discussion is like, uh, what kind of style? Are you, you gonna know? like? Are you gonna cut it off in patches? Like, are you gonna start with like the? I wanted to have a mullet for twenty four hours. I was hoping that that would have gotten past. Like, so, honey, I think a good goof for my friends for a good twenty four hours for the boys would be me having a mullet. That was out of just a stare. And then she went back to doing whatever else she was doing. I was like, okay, that's enough. Uh, this just in, one of the viewers has a locket of Phil's hair. Um, mm. Phil, mm. please elaborate. Uh, well, I charge $19.99 per hair. Um, hair comes in at about an inch and a half, two inches. Uh, yes, I'm still talking about hair. But, uh, yeah, and I free shipping. So yep. check our description back... for his, his only page. That's right. His, on, his only fans. That is correct. I That's believe right. that is right. Yes. Oh, God. Illegal uh, is definitely an only fan. Good it work. We the the only fan. That's exactly right. Fan. Hey, you got to start somewhere. It's a new yeah. service. The only fan where only one person can follow you. <laughs> and there are no winners, by yes. the way. There it's are just no sad. winners. <laughs> Uh, it's for free on the black market. This is a crazy black market. I'm going to visit this thing out. Yeah, I, don't yeah. I don't know. So, so Casey, you're back. Uh, I titled this podcast, a wild Mount mountain man appears. Yes. Um, it felt appropriate. Yes. Come you look like good. you look like you should have ridden in on a big blue ox or something. I'm not really quite sure. Nope. Just one of those one wheels. No I'm red flannels. Oh, are you? <laughs> I, I, I see those one wheels every day. I see someone like take one on my route to work. I'm like, yeah, I should do that. <laughs> That's <laughs> actually been my thought the last few yeah. weeks because the price what... of gas. I was like, five dollars and sixty cents. What is this? You're like these hipsters are onto something. I'm gonna get mm -hmm. my one wheel and rock out. Yeah, man. Looks like I'm riding BB-8 to work. Yeah. <laughs> I think the best part of being the hipster is the unlimited kombucha. That would be my favorite. I do part. like my booch. You do know that. Oh, uh, I know you do. Uh, I can't do it. Can't do it. It's you so good. Take it's like, good for you. Like three bucket hat, three bucket hats full, right? I drink like a, a 12 ounce glass, if anything. Like Ooh, a you, sane person. <laughs> what are you talking about? Buckets? Have you tried any of this crystal Coca Cola? Before you're going to say something else. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Really gets you going, guys. Really gets you going. Uh, me and my oh, friend man. broke into a storage unit after we did it. It was great. I mean, <laughs> Casey, it's nice to have you back. It feels I like know, man. The giggles. have been so on the rails. Since I saw on the rails. I, you know, sometimes, speaking on the rails, you play any video games where they keep you on rails? So on the rails. Yeah. Uh, a couple things. Still playing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Um, finished that up. Wrapped it. Saw credits. It was really fun. It's a looter shooter. You shoot things. Um, they drop gear. Rinse, repeat. 
Um, it's all in Dungeons and Dragons fashion. So, Casey, you should definitely uh, get on there and play it. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Um, I mean, this seems right up your alley, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know. It, ty- I, don't, I don't think I can do it. Why not? Are you afraid of it? Yeah. You're afraid of it? I'm afraid of death. I mean, aren't we all? Yes. Is, isn't that isn't that what it's all about? No, I mean, Wonderlands is uh, pretty good. You can see it here. And I don't like her voice, okay? Why I not? don't like her voice. Why not? It's like Why a don't shrill. Like voice? It's like a sh- it's it's like she's trying to be Harley Quinn doing an impersonation. That's over the top. I mean, Harley Quinn's that's that's your point of reference. I don't really know how high on the on the list she is for me, let's be real. But um this game is fun. You should get in. It's Borderlands. It's shooting with friends. You don't even have to pay attention to what's going on. You just shoot things. They drop things. The numbers go up. Why do people say it's like (laughs) – you just like the big numbers going up. Why do people say it's like D&D? Because it is D&D. So the gal in the campaign who is walking you through as the narrator is essentially saying and calling out what is happening next on screen. So the whole bunch of skeletons appear. And then, boom, it pops up. Um, voice acted by Wanda Sykes, Will Arnett, and Andy Samberg. Oh. So pretty good um, cast in here on the voice acting. Uh, I have enjoyed it. I think this is going to be one of those multiplayer games I come back to because it's easy to just turn on and shoot things. Yeah. Um, But it's not really like D&D, right? Because you're not doing any stat developing. You're not building armor. Or you're not hunting. Are you hunting for treasure? Yeah. So, so all the treasure you drop is essentially equipable. Um, what you're able to do is you have a skill tree, you go through and build out your skills, and then you can also drop points into like decks and the other things that are D and D adjacent. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So it's, it's really fun to play with friends. If I was playing solo, it might not be as enjoyable, but um, for the most part, I liked it. I'm going to keep playing it after I've hours? already beaten it. How many hours did it take you to beat it? Yes. I know you beat it. How many? Yes is not an hour. How many hours? How many hours, sir? How I long mean, to finish? I may need to. I, I may need to look that up. I'm sure that there's a number somewhere um, that tells you about it. But the how long to beat says. I'm looking it up right now too. Uh, thirteen hours. Fourteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Even better. Yeah, short and sweet. There's some also some. Uh, uh, what you would call it. So a lot of side quest opportunity here as well. So I would play it. I would suggest if you have some friends to go in there and play it as well. Um, if I were to give it a rating, it'd probably be a solid three and a half to four and a half. I mean, I played with friends um, and that made it really enjoyable. I'm going to continue to grind it out. I don't know nice. if we're along, but um, yeah, I, w- I would recommend this one. Speaking of grinding it out, you've been grinding it out with the young kids I hear too. Oh, on the Fortnite? Yeah, that's what I, I really want to hear about. Playing the <laughs> Fortnite, folks. I am officially cool. I'm getting a tattoo of a Fortnite character on my face, yet to be determined. Wow. Um, aggressive. Very, very aggressive. I got in when they did the no build mode, and um, very, very enjoyable. Don't know much about building. You just kind of go in there and shoot people. Feels very Apexy, but not as punishing as Apex. One thing that I've enjoyed about Fortnite is it doesn't feel like I'm getting wiped off the map immediately, and that's essentially where I was with Apex. Right, mm-hmm. Philip? Didn't you have some similar experiences there? Yeah, I mean, it's I, I just laughed to myself because it is interesting how Fortnite takes away their... They put in a no-build mode, which the build mode is what makes Fortnite kind of a unique game, and they strip it away, and it actually becomes more enjoyable. It has a resurgence. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Apex is... I, I've been playing a little bit of Apex. Apex hits it on all cylinders, man. They are, they have, if you're into that genre, if you're into the VR genre, every single mechanic reinforces the game. Everything is easy, color coded, balanced, if you could make it that way. Um, yeah, yeah, they're both hitting it right now. Yeah. Um, one thing that I definitely appreciated when I was playing Fortnite too, which I didn't realize before getting into it is that the items that you're getting from playing aren't necessarily out of loot boxes. So apex is all loot box driven. And this one feels like, okay, I know exactly what I'm getting with each purchase. Um, as far as I saw, I'm sure they'd have done loot boxes in the past. Not sure what they're doing right now. 
Um, but you get in there and it's like every IP you've ever seen, right? I mean, you just saw Indiana Jones, there's Star Wars, there's Marvel. This game's always been around for a minute. Um, I got into it because I had a buddy that came up and goes, have you played Fortnite? And I go, I don't play Fortnite. Are you kidding me? I'm more mature than that. And then we proceeded to play Fortnite until about two in the morning. So fail. And Fortnite is always really good at, you know, doing the big moments, right? The big concerts, getting in the big IPs, like like you're saying, the Darth Vader, the Star Wars. Yeah. Um, Naruto. Yeah. Naruto. <laughs> Did you see well, Naruto when you were in there? Uh, I saw Kakashi. Who's Kakashi the, Sensei. Is he the first? He's the first coach, right? Uh, he's the teacher initially for, yeah. all, for Team Seven. Yeah. Yes. yes. Kakashi. Saw me some Kakashi. So um, it's it's pretty cool. One thing that I did appreciate that I did not see in Apex when I was playing it is that there's actually missions based on Fortnite stuff. So you're and rather than like going in and just playing the um, uh, Last Man Standing, it's like go to this spot and get these three towers. And if you get like two on one run, that next run you can mop up the third. So they have like little objectives that actually track with the player rather than happening in one scenario. Um, all that to say, it feels like it actually like kept me feeling like I was accomplishing something within each match, which I appreciated. Yeah, and I think that that's I think that that's going to be the future of BR in any sense is that type of model. You know, Apex has done the done like the monsters, right? They have the spiders that you can shoot, and they have those little dogs that you can shoot, and they have the weird little. A uh, ship that you can get in and battle all those droids. It's kind of like we're working our way. I don't know if you've ever played like Escape from Tarkov before, mm -hmm. but that is a pretty much that is a very slow game where you just go in and it's all technical. You can do all kinds of really long missions and you don't, you can go entire uh, maps without seeing anybody and you can go in just to loot and grab all your loot and bring it back out um, with you and put it in your cache. But it's a really like slow game when you play it. Mm -hmm. So you really have to be in that game for the long game. Like you got to put the hours in, right? So there, it's somewhere between the future for BRs is somewhere between like escape from Tarkov and like where we are now, where you can do, where you can do missions, where you can do little things because the odds that when you're, you know, whatever, 30, 35 years old, you're playing a game and you're just in it for a couple hours and you're the odds that you're going to survive to be number one um, are pretty slim. So you're going to want other things to do while you're in there. You no, know, you got to hide in the bushes. That's exactly what I would do. Just sit down in the bushes, just wait until you're the last five and then hope you can kill somebody. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is the correct way to play the game. Mm -hmm. That's I right. agree. Yeah. I agree. No, I'm sure I know a few players like, like that. Me. Spell yeah, break. Exactly. Spell break one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only way to win. That is the only way to win. But uh, Casey, you're back. And I know you've been gone for a little while um, and you've been playing many games since you left, right? No, you I played, played many two. Different no. experiences. Um, <laughs> I, I made time. I got my like hook sunk in by triangle strategy. I, you know, I completed Pokemon Arceus. It's good. I'm more excited for Violet. I can say fully now, like I know there was a lot of hype and you know, you guys gave me a hard talk like about me saying a demo. But I, I want to go back to that stance of, like, I think it was a precursor because, you know, they have announced Scarlet and Violet. We've talked about it in our Discord. And they just did a trailer for Scarlet and Violet where uh, they show the open world mechanic and it's the same catching mechanic, but it's traditional Pokemon battling. It's the it's it's what it's the, the thing that people want. And I think if they keep the crafting. But like I said, I think they were just putting it out to see how people reacted. Right. And I didn't even I didn't even pay attention to the internet. Like, does the internet like Pokemon again? I mean, the, yes. I don't think they've never not liked it. I mean, there was there was a time there. <laughs> never there in a, like, no. a bill, I got a billion reasons that say otherwise, sir. No, people get really <laughs> mad. Like, what was the one prior to Arceus? Oh, Sword and Shield when you played. Nope. The other one, Diamond Pearl remake. Was oh, that it? Oh yeah, that was not great. It was just yeah. a. The yeah. internet was not happy about that. No, no, no. I the internet's still hung over because I feel of that. Like people still playing it, <laughs> but yeah. I think RCS brought in like people got really hyped up and uh it made people play other Pokemon games. I think Sword and Shield had an increase in sales too because of it. Because it got some people back into Pokemon. Um so I finished that game, I enjoyed it, but like it's not it's I, we talked about it, it's graphics it's like i think some people should try it but i think i wanted to say 
save your money for Scarlet and Violet if you are a Pokemon fan. And or you can try this later when it's on sale or go rent it from a red box. How many shinies are we talking? How many shinies did you get in the Pokemons? Actually, that's so random. I got a shiny Zubat in my like walkthrough and I was like, I'm rocking by and there's a green Zubat. And I, Dr. Zubat, shout outs. Uh, I stopped and I only had two Pokeballs. So did you get the Zubat? Yeah, I did. Or I had to drop a smoke bomb like a ninja, sneak behind it. Uh, when I was incapacitated, didn't fight it because every Pokemon I it was level 15. Every Pokemon I had in my party was like level 50, so anything would have killed it, right? And um, I did have one Pokemon that could paralyze it, and I thought about doing that. I was like, okay, if I don't do that, I'm gonna paralyze it, then I'm gonna throw this thing at it. But I just dude, how upset ball. would you be if you didn't get that shiny? Uh, that's happened to me before in a playthrough. I ran into a shiny Marie playing Heart Gold one day, and I had no Pokeballs. And everyone in my apartment building heard me swear. Like, I <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Simpsons when Homer swears and like the birds leave the church and everyone looks through. It was one of those like deep general. I don't know that Homer's ever been in a church though. Let's be no, real. No, they cut to the church. He's in his house. <laughs> and it's like church bells, crows flying out people like car almost a car accident like oh my gosh well good go go play pokemon arceus uh considering throwbacks philip are you still playing some lego star wars what's going on there well listen i um am not playing it but my son is playing it and oh. i'm watching him so he is now this is this is his yeah. first world played so he's uh struggling with the concept of what an open world game uh means to be able to go and explore because we looked at this a few weeks ago, but the game has tons of side quests, tons of missions, tons of uh, things that you can do and unlock new skins and unlock new characters. And he is done with seven episodes. He just finished um, The Force Awakens this weekend. Uh, so he's been going. It's it's a fun game. It's a fun game to watch. It's, you know, it's not super punishing. They don't punish you when you die. It's yeah. designed, yeah, I mean, it's designed the way it's supposed to be designed, that it's meant to be fun, you're meant to relive the nostalgia and uh, unlock a bunch of shit. <gasps> um, I, we, uh, we, when I was going to a wedding in Oklahoma in April, there was three other adults had their Switches out, and two of them had that game. I was like, huh, because it just came out, it was at that first of the April, you know, and they were like, it's really good. I was like, Right on, yeah. Like, like you don't, you don't have to justify it to me. Is what I told them. I was like, yeah, cool. Like they had to say, I'm like, I'm sure it is. It's I know a lot of people really excited, but um, yeah, it looks it, really cool. Yeah, it, it is really cool. Like I said, you can the, they give you a nice marker to let you know where the next thing where you have to go to do the objective if you're just trying to get through the story. So I'll be telling my son, I'm like, just follow the little yellow objective. Like I know it's a huge open world and it's not a side scroller, but like you just walk aim your camera i mean because this is a game right where for my son he has to use the second joystick right mm -hmm. he's never played a game before where um where he had to use a camera joystick and a movement joystick at the same yeah so he's like trying to so this has been a it. this is a big step forward for him yeah for that sure that is cool so and, and it has does it yep. have a like uh infinite mode where you can't die yeah, I, I mean, essentially, even if you do die in this game, it respawns you right there. Just Perfect. like you just, it doesn't do anything. Dying doesn't do anything. And they have a free play mode, right? So once you, they have a big galaxy map where you can see all the planets and there's cool. probably 30 different planets. And then in your free play mode, you can just go back to the planet, whatever planet you want to go to. You can run around, you can transport to different areas. And the idea being that you're going to go do hard puzzles and jumping things and figure things out to unlock the Mandalorian or make, unlock Count Dooku Ooh. or unlock Darth Vader or un and then you can play with those. So nice. there's definitely some replay value for sure. Yeah, normally people have to hang out with me for a while before they unlock my Dooku as well. No. That's just how I roll. Um, <laughs> I have standards. They're not high, but they standard are intact. Well, speaking of standards with your kids, I know you have been also waiting to ruin his life with Mario soccer. Phil? Mario Strikers? Mario Strikers. Yeah, I mean, some people uh, have got this on the internet, apparently. 
Yeah, um, I got to play it over the weekend. It did one of those things with the demo where the online was only live for, like, hey, we're going to have our next hour session at noon. We're going to have our next... It was, like, every four hours. So Which, it wasn't, like, just an open beta. It was totally no. intensified. So like, it's, hey, like, we're you gonna, have to yeah. be in here between 12 and 4. Yeah, we're going to open up these servers, like, 4 in the morning was the time. I'm, like, not doing that. Like, when I saw that, I was like, no. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like Phil, you're waiting, you're waiting to ruin your kid's life and destroy him at this game. My understanding, correct? I, I mean, I think. I mean, if I figure if there was a way to dissuade. So, look, I've always had a thing for sports games with superpowers. Okay, so Man I don't know if you remember back Super in the Nintendo. day. That's that's exactly what I was thinking of was Mega Man yeah, Soccer. I, I do. I actually, I actually looked up the trailer for that yesterday because I was re reliving the nostalgia. But look, like NFL Blitz, right? Love NFL Blitz. Blitz, NFL Street, where you can run along the walls and do the NBA trick Street plays. Volume Two, great, <laughs> NBA, great video game, great opening song. Shelby, I don't know if you pulled that YouTube video and us hear the intro song to NBA. I think there are many kids who would leave that on loop just to hear that song to NBA Streets Volume Two. NBA Streets Volume Two, opening song. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, you're you're like dedicated. Um, yeah. It, I think our video feeds are um, a little jank right now. Let me see if I can't fix that for us. Here, I'll link it in the chat for everybody. It's just, it's a, it's a solid song. I believe the kids say it's a banger. A banger? <laughs> a banger. Okay, okay, Big Doug, if you can hear me, is this better? Whoa, is that still ten frames a second? No, he was talking about the, um, the. Yep, trailer. definitely looks like it might be. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I'll, I'll play this Muzak for you. Does it get you in the mood? Does it? Does it? Does it make you want to play some NBA Jam? It makes me want to play Mario Soccer, like he was saying. It makes me want to play. Um, the other one that I like is a uh, is oh, not Blitz. NBA Jam was huge, um, but the, there was a baseball game where there was robots and they could oh, fight on the NES. That? Oh. that was really good too. I mean, yeah. like. It's sports, but you can beat each other. Sure. Okay. Or there's like some weird, it's video game vibe I'm into. Um, I was thinking about this the other day. The Switch has no football games. They need to, with the N64, try to get the license for a claim for Blitz, like you said, Phil. Or they should, um, someone out there, any game developer, make a little, their own Blitz. Take the Blitz yeah, yeah. and just mod it and skin it and put it on there make fake teams. They tried. So here's the thing, right? They tried to make. <clears throat> was it for Xbox or PlayStation, or I don't know what it was for. It was they Xbox. tried to make another Blitz. Yes, I played Blitz. it. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. The key to the key to a good uh, like a arcade style sports game is simplicity, right? Like yeah. you don't when you when you're doing all these power ups and charge ups and these different like making it so complicated. It's already hard enough to balance. A, like a game where you can pretty much do a power shot and get a goal every single time. You know what I mean? Right. So you have to keep the game simple. Like Blitz, you literally had for offense, you had like 10 choices for plays. Like that, right. that was like, that was it. And there were no speed boosts. There was no, right. You had a just, turbo that you could pump. That was your stamina, but your stamina would run out. That's like a that, normal. That's exactly yeah. right. And you're creating a counterbalance when you're yeah. playing it because you have the speed boost, but then it's your stamina. So I, I played that. I remember playing that blitz and I remember being like, there was just too much going on, dude. There was like, you got to run across the map and then you hit this turbo okay. and then you're like, dude. So strikers has a lot going on. There's random items on the field. It's four on four. The online showcase, they only let you play two on two. So I hooked up and played with some randos on the internet, some other dads, I'm assuming. <laughs> or maybe some 10 year olds. I don't know. Or moms. It could be whoever. You know. You'll never didn't, know. Hey, I want to say, did not lose a game. You didn't? Did not. Did not crush. So, it. of course, you think it's other dads. I mean, it's uh -huh. probably definitely not four year olds that are in there. Like, um, totally just no, I want to see you. No, you see, the thing I was, dominated these children on the internet. It was you, amazing. You can tackle in this game, right? And I just picked Donkey Kong. And I would just play defense the whole game and light someone up. What are the selectable so, characters? What are the characters? Can you uh, get? currently there's four, there's some hidden characters that have leaked like or that people have found, but they haven't really fully leaked. There's Mario, Luigi, Princess, Yoshi, Toad, Wario, Waluigi, Donkey Kong, uh, Bowser. And, Waluigi. Uh, 
or Wario, maybe not Waluigi. He's probably a I hidden thought, character. I thought Nintendo hated. There's Waluigi. Rosalina right there in the trailer. Oh, there we uh, go. Okay. And like every character has a unique power shot, like a special move shot. Mario shoots like a giant fireball. Um, Peach, she makes the dude, the goalie, fall in love with him, and he turns around and he rolls the ball into the net for her. Oh, that's that's, that's her special awesome. shot. <laughs> Um, Wait, love, hold on. How is Nintendo getting away with that? That seems <laughs> she just he fought, he no he gets hit by the ball and the the power of hearts makes him fall in love and he goes okay and he turns gotcha. her out and he rolls it in. Uh, you, uh, you, you, now this you is the thing sold you power see the gear you can really unlock gear and perk out a player. They just showed that too, so you can perk out a player in this where like hey Donkey Kong's got really good power. What if I also amplified his passing? Right, like I could, I can always pass. Or what if I amplify this person's like shot because they have the highest shot to be even higher, right? So there's some of that which is really cool. I think they should allow you to turn off items. I think the items are kind of dumb. That's definitely got to be something that pops in eventually, right? Isn't that Maybe. what the Smash community wants to do all the time? I mean, Smash time, Smash they th there is no items in competitive play. Right. Yeah. Uh, I do so like, think people that people have been is... asking for Mario Kart for people to turn off items in blue shells. I've heard that too. Blue shell needs to go. <laughs> I hate it. You don't like the blue shell? You hate it? It's just like, oh hey, you're you're really good at racing. You suck. You well, that's the thing, it. right? That's what we were just talking about. It's like if you're going to create something, right? You have to have a counterbalance. You can't. Right. You can't dodge the blue shell. Like what? Right. Like what are we doing here? Oh, you can with the horn. I learned that the horn is the counter to the blue shell. If you hit the horn when the blue shell is over I, you, it I does. I did not know that. Is that I real? No, that's that. made up. That's not. That's Google not it. Real. Google it. Google it. <laughs> Google it. Google it. Uh, <laughs> no, my daughter is finally starting to play a game, and it's Mario Kart, and I'm good. It's it, Mario Kart's she beat you, beautiful, huh? but yeah, no, I can't beat my four year old daughter. <laughs> um, it's the blue shells. It's the blue shells that really get to me. Um, that's cool. So hey, I mean, hey, Mario Strikers. First come thing back on the internet: avoid the blue shell. Break it with the super horn. Although there may be different items in this Mario Kart Eight, only one of them's capable of destroying the blue shell: the super horn. This, I can't believe that. I actually might go try that. I might after this is done just jump on and see if that's the real deal. When you hit the horn, is like ba 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 ba. No, my thinking was with them. Like, okay, it. It hurts people, but I'm like, there's got to be something else to it, too. And I'm like, I'm going to try it. And I was like, yes. <laughs> I figured that is just like trial and error. Isn't that um, the one that does the circles? Like when you hit it's it, the, it makes... It's the, yeah, it's the square horn, uh, yeah. red horn. Yeah. And it can throw people around, too. So it's got some uh, things there. But you, I would use it to, like, stop shells, too. Right? Like green or okay. red. And I'm like, wonder if it stops a blue one. And I was like, by God. <laughs> when it did... <laughs> I'm never gonna hit again. <laughs> I'm holding on to these forever. Um, you, I do have. I when you lose like a rank game and you're about to get like a rank score of like, oh, I'm like in the two thousands. You know, that's a big internet flex like that I would like to have. And uh, you lose and you get last all of a sudden when you were in first for all three laps. It sucks. It doesn't well, feel good. Well, and here's the thing too, you right? Know? Ranked, ranked is is the same. Doesn't matter what game it is. When you're um, on like that last placement match, and you're about yeah. to get thrown into your rank, once you're in that rank, you're stuck, man. You're never getting out of whatever is, whether it's bronze or the bottom of whatever it is. So yeah. losing on a placement is a, uh, it's not a good look. My my final take for Mario Strikers really is, and I, we talked about it in our Discord. And if people want to join our Discord, you should if you're listening. Um. And the big take was not every game needs to be a $60 game. Like it should be probably 40 bucks right now. They're going to add DLC possibly. They're going to add if, and they've talked about doing that. I'm okay with that. Just give me the game $40. And if you want to put out $25 DLC or $30 DLC and you're going to put out a bunch of stuff. And I like your $40 product. I'll buy it. That's is how this it game works. Out? Is this game out? It comes out June 23rd, I believe. I can okay, double so check. Gosh, it's coming. Awesome. Mm -hmm. But well, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep my eyes on it, but I, I, it's a hold for me till it drops in price. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now. I would like to add that category about games we're interested in. We put them in something called the hold category. Okay? The hold category. Purgatory. What, so, so like judgment to be made later. Uh, it comes judgment out to on, be late later. On it comes out on Friday. The, oh, the this tenth. Friday. Okay, the tenth. Yes. Yes. Okay, even sooner. So, um, 
it's yeah if they i just don't i don't there's so many good games coming out this summer and uh you know i know as we get into the news well hold on i i, w- I want to talk about one more game okay. um that i finished Damn. this week and it is called death's door it is a Souls-like top-down slash avoid dodge, um, three hits and you're dead type game. Art style, gorgeous. Um, Playtime, about seven hours. Um, spoiler alert, I had COVID last week and beat two games. This one <laughs> and Sable. Now, um, did you lose so your sense of smell? Did not lose my okay. sense of smell. Still intact, luckily. Um still eating just as much a lack of smell would probably help with that i'm still fat um death door looks rad death door the art style is gorge like i am loving it i want to grab a gameplay trailer right here as well because the gameplay um is not really done justice by that last trailer you just saw it's, so check it's like link out. to the past right it's like a top-down zelda very much like a top-down zelda um three main boss three main areas with bosses and then you move on to the final boss and then the final final boss um puzzles awesome like enjoyed it quite a bit in regards to puzzles the combat was really fun, really enjoyed it until I hit the final boss. And I probably try, I took it in to, mm, two or three hours to try to beat this final boss. And it was one of those things like when you lose on them, you're set back to the beginning of the entire encounter. And it got to the point where I just gave up. So I'm calling this game done. I'm knocking it off my backlog. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's on Game Pass, which is a great investment of your time um this is this is a very pretty game very stylized i don't know that i would make it like a top tier must play game i would say that if you have access to it try it out you're gonna know if you like it within the first couple of hours but the art style is awesome and um i'd like to see more in the same vein i like like games like this and hyper light drifter i bought it on my switch a oh, while you did. back because it was, it's priced at twenty dollars, but it was on sale, and I think I got it for twelve. And I was like, okay. Death store, you did? Yeah. Twelve bucks is a good price for the game. There I we mean, go. I'm, I'm all over it. That's what yeah. I'm looking for. I want to know. Like, did I overpay? Just no. <laughs> you definitely did not over overpay. Okay. Um, it's one of those frustrating games, though. Like to the point where it's like, Arr! okay, one more. Feed me. And, I love um, that. When when you can beat those bosses, it feels wonderful. When you can't, it's very frustrating. When video games make me feel bad because I can't do it, and then I just have to do it hundred times, that's what I like. That's actually my favorite thing in gaming. <laughs> well, death comes to us all, hence Death Store. <laughs> <Then> death, um, <laughs> does death come to you in hell? In Diablo uh, Immortal? Yes. <laughs> I see what you did there. Got which the is segue our, still. You, got, you still got it. <laughs> News! Welcome to the Speculation News Network, where we know nothing about news, but report on the headlines anyway. Our first story is about El Diablo, as Casey mentioned. Casey, what's going on in El Diablo? Um, Diablo Mortals is out now, and I know people got really excited. Uh, not the internet. Did you ever watch that Blizzard conference where they oh, that was, announced that was Diablo? so uncomfortable? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> yeah. It's like... You could hear a pin drop, you know? You're like, uh, what? Like, this is Diablo 4? The game you've all been waiting for, a mobile game. Well, I mean, at, one, at, at one point, the developer said something like, do you guys not have phones? And it's like, oh, man, your target market for Diablo is like mid-30s working professionals who just yeah. want to come home and play it on their computer. You know? Yeah, they want to play it on their big screen so it doesn't hurt their eyes. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, it launched. People are playing it. There were some people yeah. on our Discord that were enjoying it. Um, I played the, through the tutorial. I really liked the tutorial. Yeah, Big um, Doug made a hot Viking man. Oh, you have it. What class did you I make? Uh, I went with a monk class. Okay. It's basically it Aang. Downloaded. I'm basically Aang is who I am. It, if I download it, will you play with me? Um, sh- Sure. Can yeah, you do that? Yes. Can you play with the group? I don't know. I don't know. I do know that if you're playing on a Samsung device, there's a good chance it's not working for you very well. Yeah, it just is yeah. poorly coded. I mean, because Samsung, you know, makes the best phones. Which is why I have a Samsung 10 and it works. 
um, just fine. But in this new story that came out yesterday, they were having some issues with some of the Samsung devices listed here, Galaxy A12 with a list of about 20 um, and Galaxy S10 is on here, which is the one I was playing with. I didn't see any errors on my end whatsoever. Okay. But, um, you know, at first I poo-pooed it. Like, who would want to play Diablo on the phone? Uh, Diablo on the phone might be perfect. <laughs> God, that's what I said. I, my whole thing was like, yeah, but what if it's good? <laughs> that was what I kept saying. I'm like, but what if it's good? Yeah. Um, like, I mean, like I said, I've only been through the tutorial. I haven't hit any paywalls yet. But a dual stick shooter on a t- on a phone, uh, worse things yeah. could happen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Man. I don't. I can't do it. You can't do I it. Can't do it. No, I can't do it. I'll wait. For, I'll wait for Diablo Four. I think I saw an article. I sh- I should have sent it up, but it, someone did do the calculations for if you just paid your way to fully upgrade the character, like yeah. just only paid through the paywall to get it all. I think it was something like. Hundred and ten thousand dollars to like with all of the level upgrades and everything that you would need to get that. So, um, yeah, yeah, I, I saw that headline drift by as well. And like I said, I haven't hit any paywalls. Um, I also am not a phone gamer, like, I don't just like sit down on my phone and say, Hey, I'm gonna play a game here, I'm gonna pull out a switch or go and sit in front of an Xbox like a freaking adult. I think you can play it on your phone and still be an adult. I think mobile gaming nope. is fine on your phone. Nope, nope. I disagree. But what if, if it's you good? Play Shelby? Games on your phones. Yeah, I play child, Pokemon Go official. religiously, and I am not afraid to admit it. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> yeah, I play. I check every day. I love okay. Pokemon Master. Hot Dude, take. Such... No, no lying. You, you're under oath on this next <laughs> yeah. question. Have I paid money for it? No. Do you oh. play while driving? Um, if I'm at a stoplight, I will check for a Pokestop, <laughs> and if it's not there, then I toss it. I, I like how you casually threw in there, You're like, hey, I'm a Pokemon Master. Like, no big deal, right? Like, yeah. dude, <laughs> we gotta keep it up. I got the flex. Masters I can show, I can, I'm not driving. even, you know, I haven't paid. If I, I was a Pokemon kind of beginner, I wouldn't before. play in the car, but because I'm a Master. Hey, I you think gotta I'm keep level up, 30 you gotta maintain six. your dude, status. Are you, are you going to play Pokemon on your one wheel when you're zipping back yeah, and forth dude. from work? So the, the game's upgraded a lot where you can have like a partner Pokemon. Well, that's my partner Pokemon right there. Reveri. Is that the black, is that Blackbird? It's a giant eagle. And his name's Uncle Slam because he's American. I was like, all right. I wanted to be like a wrestler. Um, but he's uh, you know, just like, like oh, Uncle Slam. He's cool. And he's a perfect, and my students see it, and he's like a hard one to get, so they like that. They're like, "Whoa!" Um, you know what else is hard to get? Uh, Limited edition pizza. Yeah. Okay. When's the last time you had Pizza Hut? Uh, let's move on to our next story. Uh, I had Pizza Hut like a week ago because really? I watched some History Channel propaganda, and then had to have Pizza Hut the next day. Oh, ancient aliens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> If you're watching History yes. Channel, that can be the yes. only show. Also, who still watches cable? What are you? Sir? Ancient <laughs> aliens sponsored by Pizza Hut. Yes. That, does it not track? Dude, does it not? The track? aliens are real. <laughs> Great I need reference. some cheesy bread. <laughs> um, does it not track? Tell me, look me in the eyes and tell me it doesn't track. Oh, that's, such a gra- that's such a great reference. Aliens, pyramids. Pizza Hut, uh, trifecta, yeah, all trifecta. connected. Um, no, the, so Limited Run Games, are you familiar with them? Nope. So Limited Run Games is a company that will take some indie games, or not, I got indie moves, I guess, like a, it, they made some pretty big games, smaller companies to indie games, and make physical releases of their game with like a special product. And Turtles Arcade 2 that came out on the NES, not the game where they're in the sewer. And that everyone knows and hates, not in the Turtles one game, uh, Turtle two, the one that was the first arcade game, the beat 'em up. Uh, when they sold physical copies, Pizza Hut gave coupons for free pizza back then, like twenty some odd years ago. And so this company's like, hey, we're gonna do the same thing, and you can buy it. And I think it's priced at thirty four dollars. So that was cool to see. So I know the physical price, the release price is probably gonna be thirty four dollars for this game. A free personal pizza. Come on. Also, personal you're pieces hurt, are a you're joke. Not, you're, you're not hurting that bad, are you? Like, seriously? A they personal are a pizza? Joke. Dude, the turtles would be so pissed if they showed up and got up personal pizzas. Dude, a personal pizza is how it's the size of my hand. 
Yeah, a personal pizza is for somebody who cares about their body. I need a <laughs> family size pizza. Or just, or just I need like a pizza. large or medium minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine just the disappointment? Even my son, right? If he opened the box and was like, it's mostly what? crust. That's the sad thing. You're like, what is this? this is all crust. It's, there's like three pepperoni on there. Yeah, yeah. You're like, dude, what is this? <laughs> So Casey, are you gonna buy this limited edition that gets you a free? I've pizza? been mulling that over because you know I'm I'm a huge huge Ninja Turtle mark. Like I love the Ninja. No, I didn't say fan. I'm I, no, I'm a huge fan. Um, I collect the graphic novels. Um, but I think I just you need it's to so that. nice to not have to switch a game. <laughs> like, I'm also like I really like convenience. Like what, yeah. what's better for and, me? And think about this: you could buy this and get a game and dinner. Or you buy it at lunch okay. and get a snack. So this this made me want to ask you uh, at fast food pizza chains. Ooh. Who's the key? Okay, ranking first, second, third? Pizza Hut, Domino's, Little Caesars. Oh, dude. Because those are the big three, I can't right? What about Papa John's? I get the they weren't in the eighties, dude. Like <laughs> they don't count. <laughs> Wait, what are our, what are our options? What are our <laughs> Little Caesars, Papa John's, or Pizza? Uh, not you got to leave Little Caesars out of this. Little, There's Little no Caesars, way. Domino's Little Caesars pizza is like C class pizza. Oh man! Because Wait. I'm talking like what was around during the Ninja Little Turtles Caesars time. is oh. hot and ready's, right? Isn't that Little Caesars? Hot. They were five dollars hot and ready's. Yeah. yeah. We used to get the frat every Friday because yeah. we could buy like twenty of them, and it could feed thirty dudes like for right. a weekend. I mean, those pizza deliveries are the reason I have ulcerative colitis as an adult. Like, I get it. Dude, I can't eat bread sauce pizza anymore. What what did they do to us? Like, what's going on? Should we look for a class action lawsuit? Probably. Probably. Just, I mean, okay. Yeah. Well, imagine this. Somebody brings like 40 pizzas to a building with like 40 dudes living in it. Then the five people that answer the door just take like three boxes a piece and hide them in their closets for the entirety of the weekend. And then you eat until you're sick. Or you eat like it's all those metal a shades. day, like a normal person. Again, you stole the pizzas. What's wrong with you? No, I would never steal the pizzas, but I know many people that stole pizzas, and I was in very well with them. But I would never steal a pizza. <laughs> no, it's always like pepperoni or cheese. Too. I was like, can you like a, a barbecue chicken? Like I was always like, no, okay. it's only the five dollars. I think I think the hut's pretty good quality pizza. I've heard it's improved. I mean, I just had it recently because I forgot what it was like. What are my other options? Domino's. Domino's is the only other one. Domino's was really bad there for a while, but whatever they did for their crust about five years ago really upped their game. I think Domino's it goes by like the place, you know, like or who owns it because you can get to go to some Domino's and sketchy places and they you get like the pizza. We're like, look at this box. Uh, in some places, it's good. I, don't I know, think it's a gamble. I think, I I think it's a gamble. Side, I gotta really side good. with Philip on this one though. I think it's Papa John's. They weren't around in the eighties. I think they're null and void. At Dude, this point. they started yeah, including. If that's, yeah, if that's your argument, I mean, I've been to Domino's, right? I've had Domino's delivery where I opened the pizza and the entire topping was slid off the pizza, and you're like, bro, what, what are we doing here? Like the cheese and pepperoni are in the box, and here's just bread and tomato sauce. So here's the um, other thing. Pizza Hut was. In the first movie, but in the second movie, uh, Ernie Ray Jr. is wearing a Domino's one. And I think Domino's wins just purely because of that. Oh, are you <laughs> in my big mind. Pizza? So I don't know. Domino's is actually kind of overpriced, too. I think if you're going to go, I think Pizza Hut might actually be the move these days. I think Pizza Hut might. But again, a personal pizza is a waste. I'm not paying $34 for a personal pizza. Oh, Casey just disappeared. I don't know where he went. Apparently, the pizza gods got real pissed at him and just decided <laughs> to ax him out. There's That's like, it. There's no way you no. can put Pizza Hut at the top of the list. No, pizza's god. Pizza's just deleted god. from the deleted from the stream. No. So, so I know you're kind of. Oh, Casey's back. Should I add him to the stream or not? I can just leave him in the waiting room. He's, he doesn't <laughs> for, find this as funny for as 60 I do. more minutes. Okay, okay we'll, we'll bring him back. Should we bring him back? Oh, he can't yeah. say anything. That's sad. Okay, there you are. You're back. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry, I clicked something. <laughs> Um, Pizza Hut would be the way to go. Oh, you better watch yourself because last time you spoke poorly about a pizza chain, you got disconnected immediately. True, it's big pizzas out to get me, dude. <laughs> I, I will say that there's that show on 
I think it's on History Channel. I'm watching it on Hulu where they like talk about like the history of food. And there's an episode about pizza versus Domino's. And that's the only reason that I got Pizza Hut the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It was fun. So as right. a foodie, go watch it. It's good okay. for your health. It's good for your brain. You can save that for what you're watching. Um, I've been watching the the uh, exit of Jeff Gersman all day on his new Twitch channel and his new podcast. Yeah, he like five story. hours, didn't he? Um, our final news story, that's right. Co-founder of Giant Bomb, Mr. Jeff Gersman, is leaving um, after 14 years. You can see it pictured on our screen here, or if you're listening. Also with that sweet heard. anime trailer, the, the Blood, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I'm a big Giant Bomb fan, have been for years. Jeff Gersman has kind of been at the epicenter of that site for a very long it. time. Yeah, co-founder um and he's exiting it's been a weird couple of what two three years for giant bombs specifically uh they had a couple of staffers leave a couple years ago and now jeff gersman is stepping away so good for him things are changing a little bit but this guy has a, a pretty good following and legacy and i don't expect this is the last you'll hear from mr gersman well no because he started his new podcast it's number one in leisure right now Mm-hmm. Um, on Apple, I think he's trying to get it into other uh, developers uh, or other platforms. Um, it's interesting move. I really like the moves that Giant Bomb did. I it is all of a sudden. I don't know. It, do you, I want to? Do you think? I wonder when like they can like start talking about what happened because there's something. It could have been he was tired and he made this thing and he wants to do something on his own now. Right. I mean, I I don't imagine you'll ever hear anything, to be honest with no. you. Like, because isn't Giant Bomb tied up with CBS? GameStop, CBS Interactive. So, I mean, CBS. Or no, it's CNET certain... now. CNET, CNET. That's why Jeff Bacalars, the the czar, he's, yeah. there can only be one Jeff. Those are my favorite memes. Where <laughs> Have you seen those, the Bacalar memes? <laughs> no. No, I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Oh, dude. <laughs> But I, they, it sounds entertaining. What I will say is if you go and like part ways with an entity as big as CNET or CBS, they turns out they probably hire a few lawyers and I don't think you'll ever hear anything um, about this fallout. I would imagine unless it's like 20 years from now, but a lot's going to happen in 20 years. Yeah. I will say uh, to add on to the end of the news, cause I feel like there might be a transition coming. Uh, on Thursday, right, I, which I'm not super familiar with, is Summer Game Fest. Yes. So, Thank you. Nice so uh, I'm not super familiar with Summer Game Fest, but the only thing I want to mention, because I'm literally on the site right now, is Frost Giant Studios, if you don't know who they are, is going to be releasing their gameplay footage from their new real-time strategy really? that they built from the ground up. So Frost Giant Studios took a bunch of the developers from Blizzard, a bunch of the people that worked on Warcraft and StarCraft 2, and they they made their own studio, um, and they, they're building a game from the ground up. And so on Thursday this week, you get to see actual gameplay footage from what they're working on, what the concept is, um, I'm looking at the site. Looks like we're going to find out more about Netflix this week and what they're doing with gaming. Oh, so, nice. yep, going to be some things this week for us to talk about next week. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah. You can see the calendar on the screen. Um, essentially, June 9th through June 13th is when all the showcases will be. Looks like they're popping off. It'll probably be a couple hours a day, if not a few more. Um, this was kind of replacing E3 when E3 Mm -hmm. went away and now E3 is potentially not coming back. So this is essentially our gaming spotlight of the summer. Um, always a fun time of the year during E3 and Nintendo's going to do a direct to titles. Are they coming out that week? They do every June and then, and you know, Nintendo like they, they they don't play this game. Like we're going to do our own thing. Thanks. (laughs) You know, (laughs) it's like, okay. Well, uh, I mean, hey, publicity is publicity at this point, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm very excited for the Capcom showcase. Are you? Yeah, they just showed some new stuff for Street Fighter VI. I think they're going to talk about the Monster Hunter Rise expansion. And there's a lot of like chatter on the interwebs about Dragon's Dogma 2. Mm. So 
I played Dragon Dogma because on our backlog. And here's something weird about that game. I've been thinking about it and wanting to play it again, which is like a big testament to it. Because it wasn't even my games of the year. I was like, that was actually pretty good. And that might be interesting where it's like, I had to play it a second time, put it in my games of the year type of thing. Um, it runs Dragon's at like, Dogma seems like one that didn't get a lot of accolades the year it was released. But like in hindsight, you hear people talk very fondly of it. Yeah, because it does a lot of stuff in 2011 that a lot of those games are doing now and that are mm -hmm. getting huge accolades for um, Capcom's got some cool stuff. Um, the Summer Game Fest, but you know, Keeley came out and he was like, everyone needs to like taper their expectations this first week. I was like, that's never a good start when I heard that, when I saw that. You know, like, yeah, he's, I, he's I, I think, he, I mean, he's over. trying to temper expectations, right? Which is what he should be doing. Like, as a hype man, as somebody in the seat, you should be saying, hey guys, we don't have that much, especially coming off of COVID. Right. A lot of these game studios like faked it for the first six to nine months into the pandemic. And then stuff's just continued to fall apart. Like you saw what happened to Activision. You saw the pushes from Microsoft and the other big hitters in the industry. Like COVID has really messed up the game cycle. And this could be where we're really seeing the impact of that, which may be why he's tempering expectations, I would guess. The Netflix one has kind of weird too because they're doing geek week started this week too they've released some stuff like uh that dates off i feel like um or that's geeked weekend not is is that the netflix one yeah it is so that's going on right now i don't know if you've been following that because i wanted to get to our final What's segment going on anyway i i haven't researched anything that's going on with netflix but but I mean, for our final play, segment like. come on yeah <laughs> <laughs> trying to knock Just, this one out wait, of the park bro does netflix stream televisions they stream the TVs as the kids say. Your history channel. Yeah. They stream your history channel. Where you they watch your stream shows. the TV. Can I watch Ancient Aliens on Netflix? Maybe. I don't know. They've lost a lot of things. I'm always surprised at what's on Netflix. But uh, no, that Geek Week was showing they're making a live action One Piece show. And they're showing Ooh. the sets down in South Africa. And I was like, whoa. Are you excited for that? I mean, does that, does that get Kay. you excited? Here's my. <laughs> oh. um, I It goes. You know, I would say One Piece, Ninja Turtles, Pokemon. Those are like my three favorite franchises. Does a live order. action One Piece like get you excited? <sighs> no, it, it scares me because the Full Metal Alchemist one was bad. The Roroni Kenshin one was bad. The Death Note Avatar. one was bad. The Avatar was years before Netflix. These weren't Netflix ones, right? Oh, we're um, just blaming Netflix for these train wrecks? These, the, because funny? Netflix made them. Ah, uh, got it. So they did all these, they've done all these live action ones. I think they did one for Bleach too. So I'm hoping just by probability chances, if you throw a dart, you're going to hit one maybe, right? The more darts you throw. So uh, the other thing is the creator of One Piece is heavily invested in this and he has runners in there. And I, I talk about it. One Piece is the second highest selling comic of all time. It goes Superman, One Piece, Batman. I don't know if people know that. Right when you look at like copy sold, and the sets that they're making are really cool. So I'm actually pretty. I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna give it an honest try, because it's the it's one of the best worlds. Like you know how like Game of Thrones brought everybody into fantasy and everyone was a fantasy nerd for like three four years, or yeah. Hobbit. If this hits, this could be really big for people to watch other animes. It could be really big. Also, breaking news, um, Ancient Aliens is on History, which is Discovery Plus. Yes. So... Dis oh, God. I hate to see it. <laughs> who how many, Who has a Discovery Plus membership uh, here? It's a, do you really? You have Discovery Plus? My wife Plus? had it for a while because she liked a lot of the food stuff. And I was like, we need to get rid of this one. Isn't We're Discovery Plus, Plus like documentaries? Well, here's the thing. Discovery and HBO just merged together. So everything from Discovery is going to be going to HBO Max. I mean, I, I don't, you just incepted me. I don't know how to feel. Is this, is this real life or is this a dream? Did you use that as a verb? <laughs> yeah, weird, right? I, this could be fixed, Phil. Did I just incept you? I don't think so because we're not in person. Um, like, I don't know. Um, uh, so let's uh, move on to our final segment, yeah. which is what you're watching. Are you watching some alien documentaries, Casey? No, I was going to say, I got my buddy into One Piece because uh, they added another season in into March. And now in June 22nd, they're going to add another like couple hundred episodes. Um, I think I think it's worth a watch. But uh, the other thing I watched was on Amazon Prime. 
I'm a huge D and D player. Have you played? I've seen Vox Machinima. Nope. On Amazon Prime. So it's the Critical Role, which is like the huge Twitch channel for the boomers out there. Uh, that is the number one most viewed D and D channel in the world. Eighty to fifty thousand people. Fifty to eighty thousand people will be watching it on Thursday night. It's their campaign. Their very first campaign they did is an animated series. And it's awesome. That's exciting. That's exciting. So if you want. to... Yeah, go ahead. Right. Have you dove? Have you dove into it? How far? I finished it. It's only twelve episodes. Oh, okay. So, like, this is a good point to jump in. Um, especially like if you're interested in D and D or like want to see what the hype is with Critical Role, but you don't want to listen through all those podcasts. You can do that. You can also season three of Critical Role just started, and it's mm-hmm. like twenty episodes in. So, if you just, you could jump in at season three, right? Well, what's the setup for it? Like critical role. Is it like people playing D and D? Is it one campaign over 20 episodes? What oh my God. Exactly? Uh, how many episodes has critical role been? Oh, oh man. Is it like, is it like one through line or is it different? No, they're different. The time? campaign one campaign two might be in the same world. There's 265 episodes of oh boy. Uh, oh critical boy. role. It started in 2015. So they've been around for a while and uh, geek and sundry started it. I, and I watch that from time to time too, which is on Twitch. Um, but it's like voice actors that are just really high level D and D players, and it's it's cool to watch. And their stories are engaging and intriguing. And Matt Mercer is like, he makes booklets for D and D. He's like the like the the highest. He's the biggest DM celebrity in the world. Hmm. He's a big deal know, in the D and D world. That's that's pretty sweet. I mean, that's the box machine is tight. You made it. And, and because they're all voice actors, they do the voice acting in it. So it's just – it's them. It's them playing their characters, right? And it's it's really good animation, and it's it's violent. It's, like, it's rated TV mature. So, like, you wouldn't watch it with your kids. like, oh, it's a high fan. No, like, it's, it's like Game of Thrones-esque with more, like – but more out there. Like, different races, d- bigger monsters, right? Nice. Um, highly, highly recommend Vox Machine, though. Um, maybe it'll get you. I know you play D and D with me. I love, I love me and my D and D. D and D scares me for many reasons. <laughs> um, I feel like it's impenetrable. So maybe this is the best way for me to actually experience it. Yeah. Yeah. It is with a little more entertainment and actually people actually doing it for me. Like why play games yourself <laughs> when other people can play games for you? You know what I mean? Good way to learn the game too. Roll three for Dex initiative. You, you roll the d20 for everything and then you add roll, a number to it. Roll your initiative points give <laughs> plus three for creativity. Um, I don't know anything about uh, D&D. I, I, I punch him. Okay. <laughs> I am a middle aged man who loves Marvel and saw Multiverse of Madness. Let's do it. Do you like it? I loved it. I finally I like watched Endgame. Lot. I wanted to tell you that. You finally watched Endgame? <laughs> Dude, Pizza Hut needs to cancel you again. Who are you? You are years. so late to the party. You are so late. Not bad. Did, <laughs> like, it's all right. <laughs> did you watch I'm Infinity so War and just think it was no, over it and just me, went uh, home? The Captain, the Captain America storyline made me trip. And then when Tony... The like oh. the main big storyline. Oh. There's some like parts where I was like, oh man, because I loved Iron Man, I loved Captain America. I like how those stories wrap up. So, wait a second. When you weren't on the last couple of podcasts, we had Dr. Z destroy Captain America on this podcast. Yeah, he's just a dude on steroids. Like, let's be real. Hold on. Like, I'm not I'm like, not I feel like we need to have a grand debate. Dr. Z, I don't know where you're at, but we need to get you in here. Does he hate Captain America? Uh, with a fiery passion of a thousand. I mean, songs. he is a yes. communist. I would not be surprised. You know, like look at Captain America is a communist. No, Do- Doctor Zubat. Oh. <laughs> also, not sure how accurate that is. Um, multiverse of Madness is good. Fits. No. Um. Um, I love me some Elizabeth Olsen. It felt like Doctor Strange too. This story is really about Scarlet Witch. I was going to say she in a lot. Like I've heard that's kind of like yes. not, it's not a bad yeah. thing, but it's a hey, uh, it, it's really a Scarlet Witch movie. Yeah, um, they go some places. They go full on multiverse, hence the title. Um, they go okay. places that I was not expecting them to go. <sighs> Do I want spoilers? Yes. Um, for those that don't want to be spoiled, have, have you seen, have you seen multiverse, Phil? 
I, you know, I don't. I, sure, yes, I want to scroll because here's the okay. thing. I mean, I always do my Mar I always do my Marvel soapbox and my soapbox is like, I'm so tired, man. There's so many, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. much. Marvel the good news is, is now it's multiverse, so you don't have to pay attention anymore because that's, like, that was oh, my man. argument. Yeah, right, like, it doesn't yeah. matter. Someone will just go back and reverse it all, anyways, and go right back to the beginning, just like Inception. <laughs> Now you can do just they... eat all your popcorn, throw it up in your hand, and just eat it again and enjoy <laughs> in every they... universe. God. Do they talk about the X-Men at all? Yes. Okay. Now I'm well, interested. Do they talk about I mean X-Men? Are they bleeding? Is the X-Men universe bleeding in yet to the Disney Marvel universe? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Um, but they essentially put all the all the figures in the toy box and say, "We're gonna go crazy. Good luck mm. keeping up." Um, to the point where that movie goes some places in a like a two hour time frame. Which, if you're talking Marvel movies, two hours is actually on the shorter side, I think, comparatively. Like that, I think some movies need to be shorter. Yeah. And it's Sam Raimi. Everybody likes Sam Raimi. I don't know. It, the movie looked Thanks, pretty. Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't catch it. It's okay. I know you're a fan. I don't want to poo poo on your stuff because I like Marvel too. Um, Sam no, you Raimi don't. You just saw Endgame. Did. Get out of here. No. Hey, hey, hey. Sam hey, Raimi no. I can tell and you're not. And three, I can, which I, I did see. I can tell you're not a true Marvel fan because your favorite character is Captain America. No, my favorite oh. character is <coughs> no, not Captain America. I just we're... literally said he's a dude on steroids. My favorite we're... Marvel character is Venom. <laughs> like, I like Venom. I like Spider-Man. Venom? I, I see that we're establishing boundaries yeah. here. Venom? You're, not a, you're not a Venom? true Marvel fan. <laughs> uh, Venom and uh, I like also Wolverine and I like Iron Man. Those are my like three favorite Marvel characters. Um, I think Iron Man's way better than Captain America. Well, I mean, turns out if you saw Endgame, you know that that really didn't end well for good old Iron Man. Hey, he did what needed to be done. He's I'm glad you hero. can finally see what's snapping in here, okay? I mean, I knew that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this just in banner just popped up. Casey equals filthy casual. Um, Rude. I don't write the copy. It just pops up randomly. Weird. Weird. How did that happen? <laughs> Weird. Weird. So Casey, tell me how much you like the new Obi-Wan show. You don't want me to do that. <laughs> like, I don't think, cause I think Phil likes Star Wars and Phil and I just started a beautiful friendship and I needed this alliance to stay. Well, here's the thing. I will give you my critique. Go for it. Phil. I saw the first three episodes. That's where I'm at. The yep. First two, I did not like that much. Oh. Um, I well because I think the, especially the first episode, I, thought, I, I, I feel like I feel like they're just going through it so quickly. I mean, there's so like things. I, it, why are they only doing six episodes? And is that all there is? Is six episodes? It's only going to be six episodes. Oh, I mean, the last funny. episode with Darth Vader was super cool. I thought that was super cool. I like what they did with the light effects and like the light and dark and the different colors. And I thought that was really cool. But um, they're just going through the story so quickly. It's like, oh, he's here. And then he's here. And then this person's dead or this person's gone. And you're like, what is even? And, dude, I can't even breathe. It's it's moving pretty quickly. Um I'm really disappointed there's only six episodes. I didn't realize yeah. that until you just brought that up. Um, you McGregor, I would watch him play Obi-Wan for like six series, it feels like. Yeah, I mean he's yeah. he's great. I mean I I would watch an Obi-Wan show that was like multiple seasons. Yeah, yeah, it's called Clone Wars and it's really good. Yeah, but the it's animated. Jenny Car Tartakovsky one, not the 3D one. I'm talking to the guy who made Dexter's Lab. That one's really good. That Clone Wars is really good. And it's worth only the adults, watch. Only adults play games on their phone while watching the Clone Wars yeah, animated dude, series. You on gotta Disney watch your kids, so you have to multitask. What are you talking about? Come on, don't act like you don't know. Like, <laughs> I, okay. Oh, you guys want to watch the episode of Bluey? I can play Diablo Immortal on my phone. Oh, you guys want to draw? Okay, I can watch Obi-Wan in the background. Um, <laughs> Fireball. Dad, what are you playing? I'm playing Don't through hell. Just watch your also, show. Okay, also, watch your show. If you, come on, sound off always. <laughs> I don't know if you know that about me. With handhelds, I play with the sound off. Had my whole life. I do now. I do now. Um, because I my dad, no, my dad made me keep the sound off because at work he would hear it all day, and he hated it. <laughs> and he was like, 
you, you have to have the sound off. Because so my dad. Oh my god. Hey, so, bingo cards out. My dad worked at Nintendo, Phil, growing up, <laughs> and he would hear the sounds all the time. He's Phil, like, "Did you know I, that?" I didn't know that. No. Okay. That's so cool. I That's haven't cool. said it in a long time. I would. There's like a streak where I said it for ten episodes straight, and I was like, "I need to." <laughs> um, oh, please, somebody clip that. Somebody clip that and send it to Doctor Z. There will be some rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> He did, but I couldn't play with the sound on because he he asked me he's like I don't mind you playing. I get your relaxing, but the sound makes me want to jack my eyes out. Like son, please. Turn. No. I was like me at eight. Okay, like I'm just doing no. the sound. I I know we're winding this down, but I have to say that my in laws were over and they are out of town. So when they come, they stay in my house. Um, and we would get towards the end of the night. You know, kids go down. It's eight eight thirty. And uh, my father-in-law likes to watch the TikTok with high volume on the couch. Oh, does he? <laughs> yeah. He watches TikTok. The, t- the TikTok. <laughs> Why'd it be like Facebook? It's not even TikTok. That's what. That's the plot twist I'm waiting for. It makes my head want to explode every yeah. time. Every time. It's you like I'm sitting here trying to watch char- Shark Tank. Yeah, and here we are with sound bits every 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? Like, there is a new layer of phone etiquette. It's like, dude keep it keep it under wraps man like nobody wants to know what's going on in that universe like if you're on a plane if you're in a public right. place dude, right there's people... all like if you're in the waiting room it's like dude you've had phones for like 15 years now do we not know how the volume works when, dude, have you honestly... ever had someone use the speakerphone in public yeah you? psa yes. don't yeah. use the speakerphone in public like there you are a... an npc in my game <laughs> get the hell out <laughs> I was at a 7-Eleven and I was getting like a candy bar or something because, you know, my inner fat kid. It's like, yeah, that's something good idea. And I'm in there and a lady's just having the longest conversation. And like, <laughs> I think I finally said something. She's like, like, she was breaking up with someone and she's like, screw him. And I'm like, yeah. Like, that's what I said because it was in the middle of the somebody's like, Who's that? And she's like some guy behind me and just walked out like it was normal conversation for her. I just wanted to be like make him embarrassed, not be rude, but like like I agree. Like just to chime in, you know? Like I've been listening. <laughs> totally just there, like, oh yeah, that's fine. This happens to us. It's like, time. dude, you're in a pub you're in a public place. Like, look at like, are you not aware? Like you're around. Like we're around. There are things going on around you. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. Like, shut up. Be quiet. Get, let me have my candy bar and get out. This is a just, quick transaction. This is not a I'm hangout. Just, I'm just trying to get a Reese's. Yeah. Yeah. What you call it? What you call it? It's my go-to. I look at the fast breaks. I'm pretty good though. The Reese's fast breaks. I like those. <laughs> Uh, next time you should just butt in the conversation. Hey, is that Phil? What's up, Phil? It's been a minute. Where you been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You should totally leave him. I should have just been like, yeah, like, yeah, you should. Oh, the worst. Catch oh. me outside. How about that? No, mm-hmm. you should have just been like, honey, come on. I'm tired of waiting for you. And then just walked away. <laughs> just, who's that? Like, who is that? What's that uh, mayday mean? Like, drops a grenade and leaves or whatever. No, um, Obi Wan, I'm not super keen on. Uh, it's you, McGregor. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that, was mel- that was the most melancholy answer. Way to bring Just, that back. Uh, I had so to get it out. That, the thing that made me mad. Have you watched any of it, Casey? No, I like you, McGregor, but I'm just not interested in that story. I know how it ends. Like I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I, I'm okay with like imagine like he just was a hermit for 40 years and yeah. he did nothing. Like, okay, yeah, okay. okay. So here's my problem. Like, like I'm a hermit. Cool. I'm not mind. gonna do anything. I'm gonna go sit in a cave for nine years and then he comes back and bro just forgot how to use the force. You've been alone in a cave. You're not using the force to balance rocks. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. You don't you just get a drug through the still. fire. Like, I can't do anything. Come on, you're a Jedi, man. I killed my friend. Shut up. Use your magic powers. Like, seriously, you wait three episodes for him to turn on his lightsaber, and he essentially uses it as a flashlight. Like, that is all he uses it for. Yeah, I'm pre- I'm prepping that there's going to be some major battle where he's the serious. Like, it's going to be some sort of redemption story, right? Where he, like, rediscovers himself, and then there's probably going to be some guest appearance from, like, Qui-Gon, or Liam Neeson's probably going to come towards, that would be my guess, towards the end of the show, and then there's going to be a 
bunch of nostalgia, but the first two episodes I was watching, and especially the first episode, I was like, this is everything that was from the trailer. Like, mm-hmm. all the trailers they've been showing on TV, this is this is the episode. Like, you've this seen this episode already. So I hope it goes uphill from here. Yeah. yeah I'm hoping so, good. too. Uh, hopefully they bring back Jar Jar, finally. It's about time. Bring him back. Bring um. him back. Casey's favorite character. <laughs> the most racist character? No, is not, sir. What are you talking about? Don't peg that on Jar- me. Racist? What? How did we get to racist? No, nope. when I have this conversation, I refuse. I refuse. Google it. What are you talking about? Google, Google it. Google it. Google it. Yeah. Episode. Just yeah. Google it. We're not yeah. doing that. Uh, I'll call yeah. you tomorrow when the FBI breaks into my house because I no, googled Big is pizza. Jar Jar Binks Big racist. Is come after me. No, that was a big criticism that they considered him a racist character. And well, a, if your name is Jar Jar Binks and you're watching this podcast, thank you for doing so. Um, we're going to try to yeah. come back more often. Yeah. Um, I'd love to say we'd be back next Tuesday, but I'm going to be out of town. So maybe Wednesday. Don't Some know. People listen to this on their pod catchers. And if you're listening to it on whatever pod device you are, please leave us a review. Please um, do. It, it keeps us, it keeps the lights on. It helps us, it helps spread the word, and it allows us to show our wives, like, hey, we're doing this thing and it's kind of cool. It's not just four people. <laughs> like, we got some listeners. You know, <laughs> that's so exactly right. Please, please let us continue our hobby. <laughs> like, it feels right. broken. I broke them. Uh, there's a Discord. We talk about yeah. things in there sometimes. No, I, I really, I really am talking to my friends. No, I'm not just talking to the computer. It's my friends are really <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to talk about video games with adults, okay? Um, yeah, like <laughs> you're 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 in there talking video games with a yeah. whole bunch of other people. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's not like yeah. I don't want the extent of my video game playing to be helping my son get through the next part of Lego Star Wars while he spins the camera rotation, the camera joystick <laughs> around in the circle, making everyone yeah. nauseous. Yeah, going, Dude, I know that feeling. Just climb up the ladder. Just yeah. walk up the ladder. That's all you have to do. Or they get like right <laughs> to the end. The like, <laughs> get to the top of the ladder and hit B. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just reaching my hand up, dude. Just hit the X button. Yes. The, so we bought, we got some nice wireless controllers for the Switch. So we got, uh, we're sitting on the couch, but I'm like, dude, I'm just going to reach up. Just hit, just hold X. You beat seven other episodes already. Like you, it's the same mechanics all game. I don't understand why. Then I just, X I is away. this one. You have to show him the shape. Of the this, this. Oh. I can't. I can't do it. I have to walk away. Have another coffee. Yeah. I can't do it. Um, yeah. No. It's it's hard. But our Discord community, you know, we have a lot of different types of gamers on there, and it's really fun to talk to them about games. Like we talked some stuff about uh, Final Fantasy 16. We have some things we want to do. Like last year, we did JRPG July, and hopefully, we come back from that. But it's going to be back. We'll be trying to do this. I know we had, like, I think it was about a month off since your last episode, or our, when you guys recorded, right? That feels about right. Yeah, I yeah. went down pretty hard last week, and it was kind of a blur for the last two. Yeah, I'm glad <clears> you're <throat> okay with the vid. And I'm hey, not talking you know video what? games. I'm talking COVID. The Got it. Video <laughs> games. Player video games here. That is a yeah. wrap for us this week. Thank you for joining. That's a wrap. We're out. Player games. Bye. Forgot how to do this.